When I first embarked on my African journey, the first year, I found myself moving against an unmovable grain. Little did I know, I'd have to change me to change my new world. The path of least resistance is for immortals. I have died a million times to get my way. No matter how far I go, all things are possible. It's a new year, so they say. I'm at a place in my life where I'm completely comfortable with knowing I know absolutely nothing. When I'm alone, I become someone else. Much more introspective. Reflecting exactly what exactly I've gotten myself into and if it was worth the headache. Lost in curiosity. Lost in stagnation, rather. Some things move slower than the human pulse. That's life in the bush. Last year, the farm took precedence. I enjoyed all of the abundance of each season's passing. From warm rainy nights to dry heat harvests, splendors of first fruits well engaged. Moving into the new year, I can only fathom what Hamatan will bring here. My lips are chapped. What has grown has suddenly dried. And most of what has bloomed here, vibrantly at one point in time, is withered leaving entire hillsides barren and dry until the next season's rain. Not an ideal time for walking through flower-bloomed cottages, if you know what I mean. Until then, I'll keep myself busy with whatever I can to pull things together. We found hills, what ideas we have. I'm for foraging, I'm in search of something. I don't know what, we all are. We're constantly suspended in ideas, not confusion, enthusiastic, happy, friendly, welcoming. I don't know what we've become here. There's too much land to grasp. All we can do is make the most and make it forever last. They say the elephants have passed through, baboons as well as the antelopes. You stick around and you might just see it for yourself. I have to be careful. Our minds are like mirrors, reflecting the world within us. My gardens always flourish. Look at the time. There's always enough, unless you've given up. My husband, he's generous and so kind.
wise woman once said, if you continue to look back, you will frustrate your possibilities. It took me a while to really understand what that means. If we choose to cry, more tears will come. If we choose to laugh, more laughter will come. If we want to see more flowers bloom, we have to water them. setting on the west shout out to all of my west coast cousins and friends out there i hope you're doing well and to the rest of the world wherever you are I'm so happy that you have joined us guys we have a lot of progress here the guys finally finished the exterior of the structures yeah they finally completed it it looks really amazing it almost reminds me of rocks just clad on the mountains like it's just really nice i like it a lot we still have a lot to do we're finally back and we're here to do our thing and we're so lucky because now that they've finished the face and the sides of the structures tomorrow they're going to get on the roof and seal some things up there we would like to bring some stones up there too so that you have a different view a different angle of all of these lovely stones there so we'll be sure to capture that for you this is a really exciting journey that i i'm just ecstatic to share with you this is our story and we hope that you will share it with your friends if you enjoy this journey do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up and we will see you in the next video